Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.net and in this video I want to go ahead and clean up some of the, well the, I guess the remainders of the previous videos where we were looking at different ways to do things in Mechanum. And I do believe it is important to see, you know, the different ways of doing pretty much the exact same thing in Mechanum because you know, the, the one way is not always the right way and it's good to be flexible. But that does lead to a bit of cleanup. So let's go ahead, we're gonna start off. Now I've done this video before, but the audio for some reason was a little garbled, so I'll, I'll have to go through and do it again. So let's go ahead and we'll go to our base layer. And I've gotten rid of all of our other blend trees, except for the one we did in the last video, the 2D freeform directional. So we had, well there should have been two here, one for the 2D simple directional, and one I think we called locomotion. Oh no, it was idle walk run. I just went ahead and deleted them all, except for the last one we did, and I went ahead and made it the default. If we jump in, it's the exact same as, well, we, the way we left it in that video. And also over here, I've gone ahead and cleaned up the parameters. I've taken out all the ones we're not gonna use anymore. So we're not gonna use the walk, we're gonna have a toggle in our script for that, but we'll touch on that later in a different video. Uh, I am going to be using move Z to move us forward and backwards, so we no longer have the forward one. And I have move X to move us from side to side for strafing. And I will be using turning as well. So right now, these are the only three parameters that I need. So I'm going to come back to the base layer. And I do need a new axis to move around on the X. So I'm going to go into Edit, Project Settings, Input. And I've taken the vertical. And I've gone ahead and renamed it to move Z. And then I right clicked it, duplicated. And let's go ahead, we'll delete this one because I've already got it. I uh, duplicated it, changed the name to move X just to correspond to the variable that it's gonna match up with here. And I've gone ahead and changed the negative and positive values. So these are the arrow keys. We notice up here you can use the down and up arrow key if you want. So I figured I'd go ahead and stick with that and use the left and right. And then to move uh, using the WASDA controls, you have the S and the D. And I've gone ahead and set mine up for Q and E. Set it up to whatever keys you want, just to make sure they're not ones that are already bound. And later on, I do want to go ahead and bind this to a joystick, because I think it would be really cool to play around with that. But for now, I want to keep it just to, well, keyboard movement. So we'll go ahead and we'll shrink those up. Keep in mind they're called Move Z and Move X. And next, let's go ahead, we'll jump into our script. So we'll come up to the top here. Uh, we are gonna keep a Boolean value for walking so that we know when we wanna walk so we can detect that you know, when the player, player does do some input, we'll go ahead and toggle it. Now, to be honest, we could actually keep that Boolean value in Mechanum and check here. To be honest, it might actually still be better to do it that way because other scripts, if they ever wanted to you know, find out if we're walking or whatnot, they could just check the, the mechanism boolean value up there. Now that is something to think about, but for now I wanna go ahead and get the walking right. So we're gonna go ahead, the variable we're gonna be adjusting to move forward and backwards, it's now called move Z. And we're no longer getting the axis vertical. What we're gonna be getting is, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, it was move Z. <laughs> Kept uh, the names the same. All right, I'm just gonna copy that. And of course we're gonna change move X according to move X. I'll go ahead, we'll save that off. I'm gonna jump into Unity, make sure it compiles. Hit start. And we can move forward, we can move backwards. We can move side to side. And we should be able to mix as well. Yep. Great. Now let's get this walking toggle fixed as well. Hmm. I think what I want to do is go with that second idea I had where I actually do keep the toggle in here. Now, if I knew for sure that I was only ever going to use it in that script, I could just keep it there, but I just like the simplicity of keeping it, all my parameters here as far as what's going to go happen with the animations. So I think I will keep it here. So I'm going to keep a Boolean value and I'm just going to call it is walking. Now, I want to keep it as walk. Keep it capitalized, keep it like that. And I'm gonna go ahead, jump into my script, and that way there we don't actually have to change anything here. I'll come up here, we're walking, yep. Before, actually I want walking before turning as well. 
because that will affect our turning speed later. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna to check to see if the button gets pressed down in this frame. If it does get pressed down, we're just gonna to toggle whatever the walking value is. And we're actually gonna set it. And then down here, uh, we can just check to see if we're moving. Well, I'll do it this way. If nm.getBool, and the bool we want is, is walking, or just walk. And I like it on a separate line. And we will do it else. And unfortunately, this has a tendency to jump up to the next line. Ah, I hate that. I'm going to have to take a look to see if there's some defaults somewhere in the settings where I can go to change this. Steve, you're in a video. Let's turn that off. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, copy this. Well, I'll actually cut it. I'm going to paste it here and up here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and say if the value for walk is true mean we're supposed to walk. We want to change the input here to some default speed, which I believe is 0.25 float right now. And we are going to make a constant for this, but let's just go ahead and use some magic numbers. All right, and if we're not set to walk, we should uh, use whatever the input is. Now let me take a look here. What is the key? It's left shift, so I'm going to save it. We'll jump into our scene here. I'm going to hit play. And we're running forward and back. Let's turn it sideways a bit. Now I'm going to hit the left shift key. And we have to take note that if we're supposed to be moving, because it's setting it to that even when we're not moving. Uh, so I'm going to say if we're supposed to walk, then we're going to have to check the values of the inputs. And we'll check to see if it does not equal zero. Uh, so if move Z does not equal zero, that means we want to move. And now we also need to take note of if it's positive or negative. Let me actually see if there's an easier way to do this in Mechanome. So we jump in. I do not see a way to be able to assign a bool here. Uh, maybe a base layer. Mm. Can't think of a way to assign a bool to be able to go into it. Not with the way that we have it currently set up. We could with the other way, but this way, the graphs are just so much neater. Although it does lead to a little bit more complex code. That's fine. We'll just go with the more complex code. So let's actually go, if it's less than zero, we're going to assign it negative 0.25. Else if. If it's greater than zero, we'll go ahead and assign it, put a space down here. We'll assign it the positive value. And if it is zero, we just want to assign anything. And I'll go ahead and put that in as well, zero. And then we can do the exact same thing for move X. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead, copy this, paste it in, and switch all these over to X. And I just realized this isn't going to work the way I intended because. Oh, yeah, yeah, move. Uh, for some reason, I thought I was doing this in walking. All right, so if we're supposed to walk, here's the walks. Positive and negative. I'll just go ahead and take the input. Now, there probably is a better way to do this with ands. But let's go ahead, we'll save that off. We'll jump in. Didn't get, get any errors and let it recompile. And let's go ahead, we'll check it. So I can run forward, I can run back, I can go side to side. Let's go ahead and hit that left shift. And now we're just walking forward. We're walking back, we're walking side to side. And let's go ahead and mix them. Now, because we're jumping straight to that one value, it is a bit of a, a sharp, it's going from one to the other. We're not getting that blend. So we're probably gonna to have to alert that value. But for now, it's working. We have the toggle back in. And while I do want the toggle, I'm not really sure how I wanna implement it. As I explore more about Mechanism, there's probably something else I'm gonna to wanna to change here. Instead of maybe having a toggle, hold shift. 
But anyway, it's something to look at. And in the next video, let's go ahead and start working on our turning. Let's get this set back up so uh, we can strafe, we can turn. And then let's start working, I guess, on jump. And I think we have all the basics done. And then we can start getting to more advanced things like uh, layers and uh, masks. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>